this is Darius from therabbitpad.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add an image as a background in Google Docs. Here I have a document and let's suppose I want there to be an image in the background to give the document a little bit more flair. This is what you would do. You go to insert, then you select page element, and then you select watermark. So adding a background image is adding a watermark. Click on that and this box will appear on the right. You can insert an image or you can insert text. But for now, we're gonna focus on the image. So you want to select, select image. When you do that, this box will open and I'm going to choose an image that I have in my Google Drive already. Once you've selected your image, select insert, and now that image will appear in your document. Here you can change whether the image is faded or not. And here you can change the size of the image. By default, Google Docs will center that photo, but if you want it to be smaller, all you need to do is adjust the scale. So if you want it to be half the size, you can select 50%, or if you want it to be bigger, you can select 200 or 500. You can also manually type your number into the box as well. So if I want this to be scaled to 200, I type 200 and this is what it will look like. If I want it to cover the whole page, just keep adding numbers until it covers the entire page. You can also make changes to the image by selecting more image options where you'll be able to change things like the opacity, the brightness, the position, recoloring the image, and all of that. But for now, we're just going to keep everything at its default settings. When you're done editing your image, just select done and that box will disappear. And now that watermark or photo will appear on all of the pages of your Google Doc. So this video shows you how to insert an image as a background in Google Docs. If you found this video helpful, please click that like button and subscribe to this channel to view more helpful videos in the future. Also, please be sure to visit my website at therabbitpad.com.